Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Are the others coming? They have their own place. So you eat by yourself? No, I do. I didn't know I had to take a vow of silence. Do I have to be celibate too? Why? Which one do you want, Alex or Nick? Does it matter? <laughs> I think that I just lay it on and I don't. I choose. I choose. You care more about Jack's horse than you do about Becky. Yeah, at the moment, Sirocco is important to me. If we win the next event, then just maybe people might start to believe that I can manage Drover's run without Dad. You've got to help them. They're all drunk and they know when they're stopping them. Please, you've got to help them, please. Get up. You're going to have to hang on. I'm not a very good rider. She all right? She'll be right. Tough as nails, that girl. That need doing. Ah, sorry, no can do. I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not gonna be here for much longer and I just want to spend some quality time with you before I go. What a nice thing to say. You should make a habit of that. They don't win bloody prizes for brains, do they? Okay, let's get the show on the road. Becky, you take the truck. Uh, just a minute, Claire. Right. Oh. Have you asked Becky if she wants to go back into town after what happened? We ready to go? The rest of us can go in the ute. I'll go with Becky. Uh, no. Um, I mean, quality time, remember? Mm. Right, everyone's ready. Yes. All right, in the truck. Whatever, let's go. It'll take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could walk for miles across every river and find your not alone. Cause I'll be there. Problems. I want you to know I'm here if you need me. But that was never good enough for you. 
Jack used to love the auctions too. Um, what's to love? Prices, watching the market. And? Killed it. Great, so we've got cash. Fair swag. Should I get a wheelbarrow or is it a check? Oh, we get a printout in a minute, but there's lots of bills to pay, Tess. Yeah, but we're rich. <laughs> G'day. G'day. What do you know? Oh, nothing. Yeah, well, that'd be right, wouldn't it? Shows how much you know. Claire just made a killing. Hey, well done. Oh, wasn't that good? Don't no, listen to a word of it. We're rolling in it. Can't stay in chat. Got to, um, see someone. Hey, do you guys know where we can get a decent cup of coffee around here? Oh, you'll be lucky. See ya! Oh, I was sticking up for you. I don't need sticking up for And our business is our business. No one else's. Well, it's not like I was giving away a state secret or anything. Can we go now? No, not yet. Oh. Have you seen Mum? No. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect to see you here. Neither did I. Did I tell you my mate Andy's bought himself a new cattle truck? How nice for him. He's got amazing heating facilities. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, uh, would you want to, uh, uh, check it out? Not interested in the price of stuff. Not really, no. Yeah, me either. Lousy weather. Yep. Yeah, sure is lousy, all right. Thirsty? A little bit. I'll get you one if you like. I was on my way to the canteen anyway. I'll bring one back for you. Coke or lemonade? Jennings' mother. Apparently Meredith got 96 in her finals and now she doesn't know if she wants to do law or veterinary science. Either way, she's a total suck. I didn't know the results were out yet. No, she got them off the net. She couldn't wait. It's so Meredith. I mean, all she did at school was study. She spent like every waking moment in the library. That's a general idea of school, isn't it? No, not for me, I'm lucky. No, I remember everything I read. Ask me a question, go on, like, um, how many Australians won Oscars this year? How many Australians won off? Two, which is three less than last year and five less than the year before. Thank you. <laughs> oh, um, chocolate donut, please. OK, boys, the count knocks me 130 merino weather lambs. March on. Right now, great pen of store lambs there, those merino lambs there. Right now, anybody with feet can make a good job of those lambs. Right now, you start to wait for those lambs. I thought they might make close to that 15, but who's got 14 in the way? 14, 13, 12, who's got 10 then? Bit of a looker, isn't he? It's a 
attractive sheep guy. I guess he's up there. He's a Ridgeway Pole Merino stud. 21 micron, soft, rolling skin. Comfort factor, 100. Mustn't forget that comfort factor. You're making so much as royalty. What a load of crock. You are a dead set tosser. It's all done on gut reaction. Check the legs, make sure they're nice and firm. The balls, make sure they're even, full. In that order? No, oh, yeah. You don't want them to get the wrong idea. How does he know he's bidding? Not at the head, wink at the eye. Yeah! My God, who by that sad looking much? They're half dead. Yeah, you'd have to be desperate. Shoot them all right. They're roughies. Forget roughies, that'll have been on a hunger strike. 1480, I got 1480, I got 1480, I got 1480. $15, I got 15, I got 15, I got 15. Anybody else? I got $15, I have $15, I have $15. I sell them. $15 for Tim McLeod. Thank you. That's half my cash is wasted. <laughs> so what do you do on your days off? I haven't had one yet. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, would you? Stupid question. I hear you like to ride. Very funny. No, look, I didn't mean it like that. I just... Look, I like to go for a ride down the river sometimes, you know, on a Sunday Arvo. It's, it's magical. It's not like a day like today, but I was just wondering, you know, if you could sort it out with Claire and, you know, you, you can spare the time. You know, maybe we could sort of spend the day. Well, are you going to tell me why you bought anorexic sheep, or do I have to guess? I buy them cheap, I fatten them up, I sell them in a profit. Right. Well, you might have let me in on your little scheme that way, I needn't look so stupid in front of Nick and Alex. I better go. been looking for you. We all done? No, we've just got to light up some third world sheep. It's good to have a day out once in a while, isn't it? Break the old routine. Did you enjoy yourself, darling? Oh, yeah, I loved it, Mum. Yeah. Glad to hear you had a good time. I mean, this is just a toilet break. So what's the story, Beck? She's overheating. The needle's off the gauge. Yeah, it's a radiator, all right. Fixable? No. I don't reckon I can plug up a hole that size. I can get on the CB to, to Gunter and see if I can get another truck. Oh, I was lucky to get this one. Give it a go. You're looking a bit shaky. Yeah, let's open up. Mum's right. Look at them, they're pathetic. What's the plan? No trucks. It's a couple of hours' walk to Drovers. Oh, it's more than that. Becky, you take the weakest ones back in the ute, the rest of us will walk the sheep home. Well, do you think they'll make it? You're going to have to, aren't they? You want it all and you think that's okay, but you don't want to wait. It has to be today, but I... When you get back, give them food and water. Any 
slower, they'd be standing still. Well, when we get back, I can hook up to the net if you want. Get your results. Ugh, nah, it doesn't matter. I'm not one of those nerds that sits by the mailbox biting my nails waiting for my results. There's no point, you know, you, you get what you get. Now, aren't you curious? Don't you want to know? Want to know what? She can get her exam results on the net. They're available now. Oh, my God! It's so exciting! <laughs> can we keep our mind on the job? She's excited for Jodie. She spooked the sheep. Listen, shut up about a stupid sheep. Jodie, shh. Can't wait till I leave here. Look too well. That's because it's dead. Oh. Do we bury it or something? Let's move it. Meg, you stay up front. Roy, sit down. Test. Tess, you need to be further back. Drop back. Roy, sit down. Jody, you don't flog him. It's droving, not driving. <sighs> Did anyone hear me say I was interested in sheep? Hey, Claire, I'm not a person who rubs salt into someone's wounds. What do you mean by that? I mean, I don't dwell on mistakes. You're saying I made a mistake? No, I... Then what? Well, perhaps bad choice is more accurate. I don't need it, Tess. Misunderstanding me. Sit down, Roy. Sit down, Roy. So, Meredith Jennings got 96. That's what I said. Wow. I guess she'll be going to university then. Did you say what she's going to do? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Bit of a walk, Claire. I noticed you got a few uh, stragglers back there. I reckon they could do with a bit of a breather, especially the ones lying on the side of the road, belly up. We can drop off our ram, come back with the truck if you like. We're almost there. On lift, Tess? Better not. We can't stand here yakking. Right, oh, good luck. I'm trying to understand. You can't expect us to do more work now. At least let us cool off a bit first. No one's asking you to do anything. Becky, you come with me. Jody, a bit of hand feeding to do, eh? Make sure she spreads it out a bit. I'll help with the watering, then I want a shower. I got the last one. Bloody track, eh? You wouldn't read about it. No. Ladies and gentlemen, we are online. You know, Mum, don't expect me to get 96, OK? I'm not a super brain like Meredith. Oh, I don't expect 96, Jodie. I was thinking more like 99. <laughs> Mum, I really don't need this pressure. Darling. I'm joking. I don't care what you get, just so long as you tried your best. That's all a mother can ask. Of course, 96 would be rather nice. I need your password. Oh, oh I lost that bit of paper. What? We're just getting Jodie's results. Looks like we can't get them anyway. Jodie, I can't believe it. 
believe it. After six years of school... It's a final result, Claire. You remember how it was. No, I don't. Well, you didn't finish year 12. Left school when I was 15. Oh. Well, then what did you do? What do you mean? Well, I mean, did you go to TAFE or what? <laughs> I stayed here. I worked. You've been working here since you were 15. I've been working here since I could walk. It's not a job, Tess. It's my life. They're sore footed. I can relate to that. We're going to have to drench them today. Happy to drench. I've checked them for fly strike, but we'll probably need to jet them as well. Becky, when you finish there, can you get the drench ready? We'll give them 10 mils of Ivermec. I've been observing you. I've noticed. Done. Thank you, Becky. And it's clear to me that your management style could do with an upgrade. Tess, I don't have time for this. I think you should speak to people more politely, give some encouragement. What? I know you're stressed out, but would it hurt occasionally to let everyone know they're appreciated? Well, that's what the bear at the end of the day is for. To men, maybe. In case you haven't noticed, we're all women here. Claire, I have no doubt that you know this place back to front. You know when everything's supposed to happen and, and how to do it, but... That's right. So just let me do it. It's like talking to a brick wall. No, I take that back. My sister is a brick wall. So obvious she's a Taurian. A bull. That'd be right. Stubborn as. What's with you? 38. Green bottles on the wall. My results. 38? Set out of 50. You're kidding out of 100. Whoa, major stuff up. I mean, that's that's not so bad. It's, um, it's better than 28. Mum's gonna go ballistic. Not necessarily. Remember what she said last night? All Meg wants to know is that you did your best. She was lying. Rubbish. You just gotta, you gotta tell her straight. She'll understand. It's all in the way that you say it. Mum, I could lie to you or beat about the bush, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna be straight with you. I did very badly in my exams. Thank you for being honest with me, Jodie. <laughs> well, that wasn't so bad. How do you know about this stuff, anyway? My mother was a therapist. Beauty? Relationship. Uh, so, when do you think I should tell her? You know, I think we could kill two birds with one stone. But I'll need a hand. Take a seat. It's 
also a chance for us to get to know each other better, to bond in a more social way. We can talk about stuff that's bothering us and, and clear the air occasionally. Perhaps you'd like to start, Claire. Maybe you'd like to talk about some of the problems we all had yesterday. Not really. All right, someone else then. Is there anything anyone wants to get off their chest or just share with the group? I reckon a couple of the skinniest sheep have got worms. Mm. I'll have to check the droppings to be sure. But at least there are no maggots. Mm. Great, thanks for that, Claire. It's not quite what I had in mind, but... All right, I'll go first. I lost my virginity when I was 16 to one of my mother's ex-lovers. His name was George, he had a beard and he smelt of clothes. I voted One Nation. Meg, you didn't. I didn't really pay attention. I thought they had some things to say. Well, things no one wants to hear. I bombed out in my exams. What? But, look, it's nothing to worry about, honestly. I'm gonna be okay. I hope I didn't hear what I just heard. I told you she wouldn't understand. Jody. That went real well. I know what you're going to say, so you needn't bother. I only want to know what went wrong. Nothing went wrong. It was just bad luck, that's all. How was it bad luck? Well, because they asked a lot of stuff I didn't know. What do you mean? How... Why didn't you know it? You've been studying for it all year. It's a long story. I'm listening. Do you need some help with the drenching? I guess we'll be all week otherwise. Can you find Meg? We need all hands on deck. Right. Actually, I think Meg and Jodie might need some time. No time to give. And the library was closed and the, the roof leaked in my dorm. You know, it was just drip, drip, drip. And I was supposed to borrow Marissa Hinckley's study notes, right? But then her family moved to New Zealand. <laughs> Can you believe it? And by then there was just, you know, nothing else I could do. You know, it was just too late. So, basically, you didn't study at all? It's not like I was desperate to get into uni or anything. Don't have a choice now, do you? What on earth were you thinking, Jodie? I was thinking of my future, if you want to know the truth. I know what I want to do, and I don't need a TR of 99 to do it. Do you have any idea what it costs to send you to that school? You never paid for it. No, but Jack McLeod did. Oh, please don't start on that again, OK? He didn't have to pay for me, right? I didn't ask him to. No, you're absolutely right. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to move to the city and do a TAFE course in personal styling. If they've got one, OK? And then I'm going to travel the world. Right. Well, you'll need to apply for Oz study, but that's not going to be enough to live on. You're going to have to get yourself a job waitressing or dishwashing, and you're going to have to find yourself somewhere to live. Ah, uh, Meg. Um, Claire needs you. I suggest you get on the phone right now and see what's available. Well, aren't you going to help me? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, how to be great. Well, I don't have a car yet, so definitely something close to the city. Oh, uh, no, no, actually, an apartment's fine. Yeah, yeah, just as long as it's got a shower and a bath. Oh, absolutely, two bedrooms. Like for when my mum comes to visit and stuff. Uh huh. How much? Oh, one bedroom sounds good. How much? A shared room. Is that on the train line? An hour by bus. No, 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 it sounds good. Um, I'll get back to you. Don't 
Dodie, you can count them off. That's the lot. <gasps> I need a drink. You coming? In a minute. Gotta get these sheep in the new paddock. I'll give you a hand. No, I'll do it. Becky, can you turn the windmill on? I said I was sorry. Can't you help me? Just, just a little bit. It's because I'm a failure, isn't it? That's not it at all, and you know it. You didn't even try, Jody. That's what's really... You've had everything handed to you on a silver platter, and it hasn't meant a damn thing. At boarding school, everything was done for you, and around here on holidays, you weren't expected to lift a finger. But as of today, that's going to change. You're going to work your little bum off. What? Oh, yeah. Now you're talking. Claire, Jody would like to join us at Drover's Run full time. If there's a place. Sorry? Wow, that's fantastic. At least for a year or so. Just to prove to us how committed she can be before I start helping her go to TAFE. She'd work hard, wouldn't you, Jody? Yeah. Sure. She really doesn't want to be here, does she, Meg? Claire, of course you can stay. We'd love to have you. You can't say that. Yes, I can. In fact, I just did. You're not in charge. If you keep going on this way, you won't be in charge either, because no one will work with you. Well, when you've decided who is the boss, maybe you'd like to check out the windmill. It's cactus. <laughs> of course. Maybe I'll just shoot them all now and be done with it. We could load the ute up with water from the creek. Well, that'll get us through the short term. Right, Jodie, let's get started. Oh, I'll be... Do you know what's wrong with it? Could have kicked itself out of gear. Oh? Or we're stuffed. Completely. Enough to make a taxidermist happy. Hmm. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Good oh, I'll add clairvoyancy to your list of talents. And I can add sarcasm to yours. You want to back down from your previous position on Jodie, but you can't because then you'd lose face. <laughs> You don't know me at all. I was actually thinking how nice and quiet it would be when Jodie leaves and when you leave. Then Megan, maybe Becky will bugger off as well and then it's just Claire all by a lonely old self. I'd love it. You would not. Would too. Would not. Would too. I'm a failure. I'm a failure and I've got nowhere to go. You should ask her. What? If you want to stay, then you should ask her. No way, I'm not begging anyone. Besides, she's already said no. There'd be no point. I'm telling you. You know, I might move to the city anyway. There must be cheap places to live. No, I reckon I'd find somewhere to crash, no problem. Yeah. Part bench or a stormwater drain? Well, maybe. Hey, I'd be the youngest, best looking bag lady in history. I'd be eating out of garbage bins, but at least I'd have my personal stylist to pick it. It'd almost be worth it, don't you reckon? Don't be like that. I'm trying to find a way out here. You said it yourself. There's nowhere to go. I have to go. Claire doesn't like me, and Mum thinks I'm a total loser. 
Do you really think that? And if I stay here, I'm going to go crazy chasing dumb, stupid chooks and moron cows and all those sheep. <laughs> Who wants to live with 5,000 sheep? You do. And Claire is my boss. It's like having two mothers for crying out loud and all this work to do. It's like they're doing me a favour. Jody, shut up. Take a look around. You say a couple of the right things to Claire and you're set. You got a job, you got a home, you got a family around you. Have you any idea how important that is? Oh, sorry, Beck. You're still upset for me. No. I'm happy as a pig in mud, Joe. I know when my luck's changed. To get up and shove it into gear. I'll do it. It's not a good idea. Why don't you think I can? Look, I've been climbing windmills since I was seven. Claire, please let me tell you something. Number one, you're a pain in the bump. And number two, actually, I think number one just about covers it. Be careful. Oh, what do you know? She cares. Now we're going to go down one step at a time, all right? I can't. Yes, you can. I'm not going to let go of you, I promise. Now just stick your right foot down, straight down. Hey! Oh, I've got you. I've got you. Sorry. You OK? OK, look, I'm going to place your foot down with my hand, OK? OK, I've got your right foot. Just give me your foot. OK, we're just going down a bit. A bit further. A bit further. There you go. Good. OK, I'll do the same with your left. That's good. Good. OK, next one. You've got to put your foot out just onto a little ledge. That's good. See, it's not really Everest. I just want to say, over the last few days, it's just... Hi, Alex. Ladies. Thank you. What? What? Spit it out. Spit out what? Righto. The thing is... We're missing a ramp. Stubmeister gone walkabout, has he? 
Well, I thought he might have come over to check out your new lot, actually. You sort everything out OK? Of course. All they needed was a bit of exercise. Hey, guess what, Alex? I'm staying on at Drover's. Yeah, Claire needs some extra help, so I've offered to stay on and work full time. Haven't I? You have to work hard. This is definitely a princess-free zone. <clears throat> oh, Jodie. Uh, yeah, um... Thanks, everyone. Good job these last few days. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Yeah. <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> That wasn't so hard, was it? Did you really lose your virginity to some old guy when you were 16? Maybe. Stay.